Hey, hey, kia ora whanau, you're here with me, the Māori Wargamer. And today, we'll be doing an unboxing and review of Warhammer Underworld's Night Vault. Okay. So yeah, finally, just a quick little unboxing video. Been a while since I've done one of these. Um, but to hype up the arrival of Season 2 of the Māori Wargamer Shadespire content, um, the ultimate competitive miniatures game. It's quite a bold statement. Uh, let's take a quick look at the box. Very pretty box. There's a um, skeleton lady on the front. Some roses. Grandpa Stormcast. Uh, I know they've got like wizards added to this. Um, so very cool. Let's take a look inside the box. For some good stuff. Also, going to quickly uh, review this as well. Yulfari's Guardians. Well, let's take a look at the main meat and potatoes of this unboxing. Alright, so we've got our booklet. Uh, rule books, instructions on how to build stuff. We have our boards. And then our easy to build um, push fit stormcast here. Ghosties here. Cards, cards, cards. Oh yeah, sample chapter of a little book. Some dice, plastic sleeves to put your stuff. This was just the beginning. Um, yeah, that's the box. That's the box empty. Uh, let's take a look at the components in more details. So here are the Stormcast Eternals assembled in all their glory. Uh, Stormcast Mages we have here. Uh, Rastus the Charmed. Averon Stormsire, the leader of the warband. And Amos Dawnguard, uh, female Stormcast. Um, here's their stats cards. They inspire on casting a spell, uh, boosting things up. Um, the new craze of um, Night Vault is the ability for spell casting, so that's something to look into further. Um, I'm interested to see how that works out. Uh, but that's these guys built up. Cool dynamic poses. Um, yeah. Cool looking guys. And here are the thorns of the Briar Queen Undead Warband. Again, very cool models. We have here the Briar Queen herself. Um, roses, skeleton lady. Looks pretty scary. Here's our next one. Varklav the Cruel. It's got like a metal lantern looking head. This guy, bloody ominous looking model. The Ever Hanged. Look at that, he's got a noose around his neck. There's the hangman's thing. Bloody grim. Chain Rass. Headless horseman looking guy. Another Chain Rasp. Oh, they're all Chain Rasps. Um, they inspire on the fighter adjacent to an enemy fighter. Oh yeah. So just being nearby in combat, they uh, will inspire up. That's the rule for all of them. Um, so yeah, very cool. Um, that's one thing I like about the Shadespire as well, small war band, so I'm really interested in playing Age of Sigma, but um, I devote most of my monies towards 40K. Um, but yeah, this is cool to dabble in it and get that character, get that story in it um, for a lower cost entry. I guess similar to four, uh, kill teams for 40K. Um, but yeah, that is the characters. Those are a bit of the cards, and here's the boards. Looking pretty cool. Double-sided, of course. Red ones, hazards. White ones, impassable. So mix things up when you go to play. Let's check this other side as well. Wham. A few impassable hazards on there. Um, so yeah, very, very cool looking. Uh, but that's my look at the models. And that'll be about it for my review of Shadespire Night Vault. Um, by the Moldy War Game. I know I said I was going to look at the Yulthari's Guardians, but ran out of time. Um, if you are interested in that, then they'll be showing up in week three of my Shadespire content for season three. Um, so yeah, if you're interested, make sure you're tuning in uh, next month. 
for some quality content. This is a little spoiler, a little teaser to whet your appetite and get you excited to travel once again in the mirrored city of Shadespire. Hope to see you there. Uh, be about four weeks of exciting gameplay as the Stormcast battle their enemies on their way to get out of the Merit City and break Nagash's curse. Um, but yeah, hope this is interesting to you, Fun. I hope it uh, helps you decide whether you buy it or not. Uh, this on the day that it was announced, the Beast Vault or whatever, um, a new expansion. So yeah, it looks like this isn't going anywhere fast. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, Fano. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. Give it a like, comment on uh, your favorite warband, one that you want to buy or see, and I might be able to pick it up and show it for you on my channel. Uh, but yeah, thanks again. I am your humble host, the Māori Wargamer. Ka kite. Ano.